can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you Good morning guys, welcome back to go back to another video. In today's video, we're working on the M4. We do have a bunch of parts that came in. We have a bunch more coming today, actually, from FCP Euro. So shout out to FCP Euro for sending out that care package. A lot of the parts from that is for the radiator support and the radiator itself. So I'm super excited for that to come and we really need that to start working on the car. And we can start putting all the brackets and all that stuff. Maybe even the whole crash bar. It really depends on how far we can get. The oil cooler does need to get mounted on the bottom, and we don't have that just yet. It's gonna be coming in Thursday, but let's see if we can work around. It. If not, we're gonna have to do things that doesn't involve the crash bar just yet. But before we do that, let's go ahead and just mention our shout outs for today's video. And now that we're back, before we actually uh, get into the M4, we actually have some cool things to go do. Your man's been pretty much staking all of his tools and these little buckets, and every time I wanna try to use a socket, I dump out the bucket of sockets, I look for my socket, I use it, then I put it all back in the bucket, then I put it right back on there. It's a process, and it gets very messy. I try to be as organized as I possibly can. It is Black Friday, and if there's a time to to go get a new drawer, you know, or a new storage cabinet, it's now, it's definitely now. So I'm gonna go down, head down to Home Depot, pick it up, hopefully my dad's car will fit it, I really hope it will. And also, somebody's birthday is coming up, so I wanna surprise them um, with Milwaukee. I surprised my other friend with the Milwaukee thing, and just Milwaukee is really, really, really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to surprise my other friend. The sale ends tomorrow, so I figured might as well at least cop one more thing and just surprise another friend. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take out my dad's car. Hopefully, uh, I, hopefully I'll, I'll be alive tonight. And then go cop some new tools things I I'm always the most excited person to go down to Home Depot I love Home Depot getting new tools and getting a whole bunch of storage things there's nothing better about getting new tools and organizing your tools I love that stuff all right, guys, so we just made it to the Home Depot. I don't know if I'm supposed to be parking here, so let's go make sure. Guys, so this is what we're getting. It's right now for 250 was 298 I'll show you guys all the cool features about this guy, but we're gonna have to pick out the best one. There's six of them. Um, it has a wooden top. Dude, that's sick. And look at this, too. You can even charge your phone, and there's so many outlets and all that stuff for 250 The wood is, like, high quality, you know? And then you have, like, the drawers for the tools, and then you have all the little ones, even this one. It has, like, all the mats and stuff. For the money, that's not bad. So... We, uh, let's just go ahead and load this thing up and then we'll look for the other Milwaukee stuff in a little bit. We got it, boys. <laughs> let's go. All right, guys. I was really not sure if it was going to fit my dad's car. Thankfully, it did because we already purchased it. And if we needed to ship it to our house, we put another $70. So the next thing we got to do now is go ahead and find that tool that we need. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and go with the brush list because I think this is just the overall a better tool than the brush. I know the brush is like a better deal. You get two guns, two batteries for 150 but the brush list just lasts a lot longer. And uh, if I'm going to be given a nice gift, I think this is a nice gift. But anyhow, uh, we just need to get some bits now, and then we're good to go. Just got the drill bits. We're good to go. And we'll go with this as well. This is pretty sick. And now we get some Chipotle. All right, guys, package acquired. Me and the y'all. Uh, just go ahead and just munch on these, and we'll show you guys what we got. And guys, we just made it home, and I'm super, super, super stoked to unload my dad's car. So let's go ahead and get everything out, show you guys what we got, and let me know, should we do a little Milwaukee giveaway soon? I'm actually thinking about it. And we just made it back home, guys, with some new goodies. Finally able to organize all my things in this thing. I am so excited, guys. I'm stupid excited. This is going to be for a very close friend of mine. If you guys want me to do a Milwaukee giveaway, let me know down below. But yeah, we got some organizers. Finally have some organizers. We got some drill bits here, some more drill bits. These aren't for me. This is going to go with this guy, but this is for me. I do need some of these guys. Anywho, let's get something to eat, and then uh, we'll get to work. And your man is back. That Chipotle was probably the best Chipotle I've had in a little bit. <laughs> but it's not Chipotle. So anywho, let's go ahead and just start getting all this stuff situated. Pull off all these tags. Open this thing up. Get all these mats set up. Get our sockets set up. Just get everything set up so we can start working on the M4. Do not worry, guys. I don't care if this, this video even is even 30 minutes. I'm going to make sure most of that front end of the M4 is there. But at the same time, I know it's satisfying to just load up all the tools in there and see how it looks. I don't know if anybody else is on a Milwaukee or just tool addiction. I am on a serious tool addiction. It's just this Black Friday and the deals are crazy. I'm just taking full advantage of it. And this table, like the actual wood is so nice. Has all the drawers you would ever need. And it has a power extension right here. I mean, I can even charge the i8 from here. Like how sick is that? Let's just start loading this thing up.
actually, I kind of want it right here. So three, two, one. And that's looking a lot better. At least there, I can actually put my gym equipment right there because I still need to work out, boys. You got to keep the gains up. So I removed it right over here and I need to try to figure out a way to put this vacuum somewhere. But at the same time, I still need access to all of my ports right here. So trying to figure out where to put the vacuum. <laughs> and bada bing, bada bang, guys. I am super, super, super happy with this setup. And oh my God, my two favorite guns are right here. This battery is fully charged. This one's finally starting to charge. I don't know why that wasn't charging earlier, but it is charging now, so I'm happy about that. We have the Keys Motorsports Panda, because shout out to Keys. I love everyone that works there, and they are true supporters of your boy right here, so huge shout out to Keys. So, I think it's time to work on the M4, but right before we do, I just want to let you guys know, I, got a, I found a whole bunch of miscellaneous things. I'm literally going to be holding up the camera from right here. I'm not even going to tell you guys what is in here, but basically, there's a couple hundred dollars worth of things here. It's a care package from a whole bunch of little mods I purchased for my cars over the years, some maintenance things, a lot of tools. Well, it's just a bunch of things here that I ended up purchasing for some build and never got around to it. So I'm about to pack up this care package right now. This is a random care package. I'm gonna be putting up this care package for $80 and whoever that ends up purchasing this, I will be shouting them out in the next video alongside with everyone else that is purchasing merch. But I might as well say it right now, huge shout out to anyone that actually ends up purchasing this up front because, that, because every dollar helps me with the M4 build. I know taxes alone on this car is gonna be upwards of two grand. Registration is gonna be at least a grand. So yeah guys, whoever that purchases it, I thank you in advance, but I'll thank you in the next video. That further ado, let me go and get my brother down here. We got a lot of work on this M4. And our package from FC Piero is finally here. I am super excited to work on the M4. We have a bunch of parts for it. And the next day or two, we're literally gonna be completing most of this car. All right, guys, I believe this is from FC Piero. I could be wrong. This could be something else. So let's go and open up the package and see what this is exactly. I feel like if it's from FC Piero, it'd be a different package, right? So the package from FCP here apparently didn't come yet. This is actually from one of you guys. That over there is from FCP here. <laughs> Here, literally just got delivered as I was talking to you guys. So let's go ahead and just figure out what's in all these boxes. So the first one is uh, from one of you guys. You guys reached out to me and uh, he told me he had some parts for the M4 that could be helping out with our build. So let's see what he sent us exactly. All right guys, so this first one is an intake box, which is uh, definitely something we're gonna be needing for sure. This is the stock intake box, which is gonna help us register the car. So that this one was absolutely destroyed on my car. So shout out to you. Let me go ahead and try to figure out his name real quick. He goes by Beamer Junkies on Instagram. Instagram, so shout out to Beamer Junkies for the for the intake. I really hope this other one is the big one because our big one is also completely destroyed. And yes, it is. Thank the Lord, guys. So we have the full intake now, both intakes for the car. Shout out to my boy for sending this out because this is definitely going to be helping. I think this intake, this intake setup is like two hundred dollars, and I'm going to need it for smog. So he shout out to him for that. And I believe these other two look like grills. So yeah, these two are actually the front grills for the car, gloss black. So again, shout out to Beamer Junkies for sending this out. This is definitely going to be helping out with the build. Now let's see what we got from FCP Euro. So if you guys haven't shopped at the FCP Euro, FCP Euro offers a lifetime warranty with all the products that they sell. Literally anything including oil, lifetime replacements, a lifetime warranty, which is absolutely amazing. And I don't, I don't know if you guys remember, but on my M3 build, literally all the parts I got for the M3 came from FCP Euro because M parts are already very expensive. Might as well get a lifetime warranty on them so you're good to go. So I'm really happy to say I'm working with FCP Euro on this build, but I don't really know exactly what's in here. All I know is that I told them I need a few parts. I guess we'll find out. Oh my God, guys. This is heavy. So first things first, we have 5W40 motor oil. This is for the M4. We have literally, I believe, seven quarts of 5W30 liquid moly. So, uh... That's awesome. And like I said, guys, a lifetime warranty on literally everything. We got a bunch of Delphi coils. So I think we got like six of these guys. Yes, we do. We have the BMW drain screw. Oh, some stickers. I mean, this is kind of cool, not gonna lie. The oil filter and all the Bosch spark plugs. We got all the spark plugs as well. I think that's all that's in this one. And last but not least, you guys could probably guess what this is, but let's go ahead and unbox it real quick. And this is literally above and beyond. So what we ended up needing was the side bracket and the top bracket. So I know this guy right here is the top bracket for the radiator support. This is the side bracket. Right here is the OEM radiator. So we got a lot of things here. We also have the heat exchanger. We have pretty much everything other than the oil cooler. So uh, 
It is getting kind of dark out here, so let me get a thumbnail and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. We have our new radiator. This actually came from FCP Euros. Radiators tend to crack, so I decided to get mine from FCP Euro because they have lifetime warranty. Better safe than sorry. Like everything else, FCP Euro has everything is lifetime warranty. So when it comes to radiators and stuff like that, definitely go check them out. Ignition coil, spark plugs, all that stuff like I mentioned earlier. Links down below. We got this fan off of eBay. I believe this came off of an F80 M3, but it's the same exact part number, so it should be the same. Everything is perfect. Not a single crack on this, thank the Lord. Those things run normally $900 to $1,000. I found some guy on eBay sign up for $400 because I put in the part number. So make sure you guys don't just type in M4 fan. Put in the part number and you might get lucky like me. The only hose that was pretty much punctured, we got a new one, which is right here. This was actually not cheap, but um, we, we, we had to do what we had to do. This is from, I think, BM European. So I'll have their, um, they pretty much have a bunch of European parts for all kinds of different BMWs. So they part out cars. I found this used AC condenser in perfect shape. I mean, obviously it's not in perfect shape, but in good working shape or a really good deal. And that's the same place I actually picked up this radiator. I think this is for the driver's side. No, this is the passenger side. This is the driver's side. So now we have both radiators to both sides now as well. That being said, we're just waiting on the oil cooler. But instead of just waiting, let's go ahead and assemble this bracket. We got these parts also from FCP Euro. And we're gonna assemble the whole bracketry basically that holds all of this stuff into place that gets mounted to the front end of the car. So this is gonna be pretty awesome. It's gonna be very satisfying. Let's go ahead and start assembling this front end. To rebuild. I, I finally have everything to put together the front end of the car and then I realized that I accidentally ordered the same left bracket for the radiator support. I should have it on the headlight bracket, right? No, no, no. It's just for the radiator brackets. Like there's one on the bottom and then left and right and then one on the top. All right, guys, I'm uh, I'm hitting up. I'm hitting them up right now. I'm hoping they have it. I, apparently, I ordered the exact same driver's side. I need the left side. I mean, you see, I keep saying the left side. I need the right side uh, to fully assemble the front end. So we might actually have to go on a two hour journey to get that part and hopefully we'll still be able to get a lot done tonight. Meantime, a friend of mine at Keys Motorsports had a stock cooler. They upgraded to the Mishimoto oil cooler and he had the stock cooler that saves me at least like $400. So shout out to my guy at Keys Motorsports for hooking it up. This is literally a part off of his own personal car. I literally could not find any on Google and I was literally thinking about bending mine's back because I have no choice. Ooh, bada bing, bada bang. Okay, this thing's covered up in oil, but it's literally in perfect shape. And bada bing, bada bang. Here's the stock oil cooler. It's actually in really, really, really good shape. So luckily we scored on that. So shout out to Keys for hooking it up once again. I'm super happy about that because I can't even find these used. And if you go to BMW, those are $600. It's been a huge setback. Speaking of setbacks, unfortunately, I, I ordered the wrong part from FCP Euro. So this is apparently the left side. I needed the right side. So I contacted BMW, the only people that have it right now. And uh, they can get it to me by tomorrow. Tomorrow, but they're gonna charge me a hundred dollars for a bracket. So that sucks FCP Euro had it for 65 So if you guys want OEM parts make sure and hit up F FCP Euro because they are just a lot a lot cheaper And they offer a lifetime warranty that was $65 of lifetime warranty when you have to go to BMW you pay hundred and two dollars And uh, there's no warranty. There's no nothing but regardless like it's 65 compared to 102. I'm unfortunately I'm gonna have to pay the 102 because I want the bracket tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and try to assemble as much as I can today and just keep it supported upwards to where I just need to put on the bracket and we're good to go. Alright guys, so the the condenser is actually straight, the transmission cooler isn't straight, but once we actually get all the other stuff done and the brackets up, it should keep everything together. As for this condenser, it's lining up really good. The two lines actually went in and the screw went in perfectly. So even though this is a used one and it's slightly beat up, it did fit perfectly. Now the next thing I want to do is go ahead and put in the radiator which goes behind. The heat exchanger goes up front. How the heat exchanger sits and needs both brackets to sit. So we're not going to be able to put on the heat exchanger today, but at least we can put on the radiator and possibly the fan. So let's go ahead and do those. All 
All right, guys, so we have the transmission cooler. Again, it's not really lined up perfectly. We're still waiting on the other bracket. Hopefully, we'll pick it up tomorrow. The AC condenser is in. It's fully aligned on that side. Where it needs to be is literally where it needs to be. All the lines are connected, as well as the radiator. These two lines are connected, and this one's connected. So we're just waiting on that bottom one. And uh, to do that, we need to install the fan. And on the fan itself, we're going to have to install the pump. So the pump goes somewhere like this, and then this bracket goes over it. So Let's go ahead and figure out what orientation this pump goes in. And we have to make sure we don't forget to plug in the sensor right there and then uh, plug in both pump, uh, hoses. And I think there's one that goes into the top of this as well. So uh, I guess at this point, um, we just need to, we just need to, you know, play around with this. Guys, thankfully everything looks like it fit really well. Um, I might have to actually remove this bracket again just so we can actually get that side bracket on and it'll hold all this back together. And once it holds all this back together, it's gonna look so good on the top. It's just this AC condenser is a used one and it is slightly bent, so the bracket's gonna have to hold it in place. But other than that, I mean, everything else is looking really good. We got the pump on there, all the hoses on there. We replaced that hose back there. This one, I don't really know. How, oh, maybe it comes out this far. Maybe that's how that works. I'm not really sure how the side radiator sits. Unfortunately, it looks like we can't mount the side radiator until we actually get the radiator support on the car, the whole thing. So in the meantime, uh, for some reason, the oil line just started leaking heavily. So let's go ahead and just put on the oil cooler. It might sit on the ground for a little bit, but it's not like we're driving the car, so it should be fine. <laughs> guys so we pretty much have a one two three four four coolers um not mounted but at least screwed in um we have these hoses i believe this goes to the top of the radiator now it makes sense it doesn't actually go like one here one here one like the top end of the radiator clips in there that's the bottom end of the radiator which is perfect this goes into the heat exchanger and then the one more hose somewhere over here this, this hose right here also goes to the heat exchanger which is perfect this one goes to the driver's radiator top driver's radiator bottom bada bing bada bang and everything back here is already been arranged it's all the clips are back where it needs to be the radiator's already been screwed down from the bottom Oh, actually, this thing, I believe, latches in right here, so we might as well do that right now. And as for this side, we're still missing that bracket. Once we get that bracket in, everything here should be perfect, and we're going to put the whole front clip in. Meantime, um, I did actually put my hand in there, and I found the broken plastic piece that was for the intake. Luckily, we got to pull that out. Luckily, it wasn't shattered. It was just one single piece, because if that goes into the turbo, that would be some bad news. So the only thing we're going to be needing from this, unfortunately, because it's all one piece, is just going to be the sensor. So let's go ahead and take out the sensor and move it on to the new one that one of you guys sent me so shout out to him again so yeah, let's go ahead and get our new intake and just swap over in that mass airflow sensor and go ahead and install that thing guys it is really coming together if i hold the ac condenser right over here it just looks already super complete so we have the new intake which is perfect this line connected perfectly all those connected perfectly everything on this side is connected and mounted properly so that is perfect oil cooler is connected just not bolted on and again everything here is pretty much how it has to be until we actually get the bracket once we get the bracket in, we can even put on the heat exchanger which is actually the most beautiful thing so it should be covering up all of this stuff it sucks that the radiator is back there because that's new this is used 
that is used and that is used. So um, this slightly beat up. But thankfully, heat exchanger literally sits right in front of all of us and it's gonna be looking like the best part of the car. Again, shout out to Keys for the heat exchanger and shout out to FCP Euro for the radiator. But at this point, we can't actually mount the inter the, the second intake uh, mainly because this is completely shot and it mounts right here. You guys can see it mounts right there and it has another mounting point right down there and that is completely shot. So for the meantime, guys, I do have this harness right here. This one is perfectly good, so that's good. This one has two wires that are shot, so unfortunately, I don't know what's going on right here. And as for this, there's a million wires here, but most of them are pretty much torn out on this bottom and thankfully the camera connection is good because this one's very, very, very expensive, but I don't know what this goes to. So if you guys know, let me know. As for this, I have no idea what this is either. This is the headlight connection, and that honestly seems to be perfect, which is great. Also, the little box down here that holds all the ground wires are destroyed, so we're gonna have to fix that, obviously, once we actually get this thing repaired. And this actually goes straight to the fan, which I'll hook up once we actually get all the bracketry and everything together. I don't wanna hook it up just yet, because that is honestly such a pain to disconnect. But as for now, we pretty much got a lot done in the front end. This will all be put on in the next video, and on top of that, the whole front clip should be put on in the next video. So literally, most of the car should be pretty much complete and be ready to send off to the body shop to get this thing repaired but actually coming to think about we're gonna need to replace the fender so they can actually line this up properly with the new fender and the hood honestly we don't need it anymore now we don't have the hood just yet but let's go ahead and just remove the hood because we don't honestly need it i'm gonna be going out to get rid of a whole bunch of garbage we have so many boxes so many car parts that are garbage we had to throw in the backyard and my dad's gonna kill me if i don't get rid of those soon so we might as well take off the hood we might as well take off the fender junk both of those i don't know if we're gonna have time for the fender because the fender takes a lot of time and on the passage your side there's this little water thing the water like the windshield washer fluid tank and it's such a pain to get around so i don't know if we're gonna have time for that but let's just go ahead and just remove the hood real quick because that we're gonna need a truck to get rid of All right guys, so we officially have the hood. So now it's looking a lot less total. It just looks like it's missing a hood, which is great. So we're gonna have to place an order on a hood and probably gonna go with an upgraded, maybe a GTS hood or something, you know, fancy carbon. Let me know, should we go with carbon because the roof is carbon or should we just go with the GTS? Let me know down below guys. But as for the fender, um, if we go ahead and put on the new fender, it should show where this needs to be. So I think we should go ahead and remove that bolt, remove all these ones. Um, this fitment and everything is pretty terrible. We do have to reuse this. So without further ado, let's go ahead I'm gonna start taking off the side skirt. My brother's gonna go ahead and start taking off all the top bolts. All right, guys, so we just got this fender out and it's in perfect condition, exact same paint, thank the Lord. It actually has a clear bra on it that we might have to remove because the rest of the car doesn't have it. Um, but yeah, everything but this little nick in the front is absolutely perfect. So I'm super happy with the fender. We're just gonna use that M4 grill. And other than that, this one's good to go. We're gonna put it on just so um, when we take it out of the body shop, if they need to remove it, they can remove it. But if it's on, at least they can try to line up the screw holes. You see, it's already off. It's already completely off. At least have everything he needs to where when they need to just pretty much pull this out, fix it up or cut it and repair it. They can remove things if they need to, but they have everything they need. All right, guys, so my brother got off the old fender. I don't think we really need anything from this one because I think this one has everything we need. Yes, it does. So it has brand new tabs and everything there. It has the tab that we need down there. We just put in the new M4 grill. Look how good that looks, guys. So that is an OEM brand new painted fender, which is perfect because I want all this paint to be original and I want it to be OEM and I don't want any Bondo on this car whatsoever because this car is pretty much perfect other than this little situation here. And actually looking at it now, this actually looks all good, no buckles, no nothing. This might be a really easy fix. Well, I guess we'll find out when we take it to the body shop. I think meantime, I'm trying to figure out something while we have the fender off. <laughs> I wanna figure out why the door has a gap. So I think we should try to play around with the door while we have the fender off, and then we can start figuring out the whole fender situation. All right, guys, so actually the door ended up lining up perfectly, literally absolutely perfectly, as if somebody already played with this for some reason. So I just moved that literally like so very, very little very little and now it closes absolutely perfect so i'm super happy about the fitment there now i now i know 100 percent there's gonna be no water coming inside the seals which is what i was wanting to make sure of guys 
guys, me and my brother just finished the gaps. The gaps on the bottom are absolutely perfect. It's exactly how it's supposed to be. Perfect all the way up, flush against the door, flush against the pillar. Gaps are absolutely perfect. We had to bend this thing back over here a little bit and that worked out perfectly. And even the door, once we align that part, the door is absolutely 100% flush, which I'm super happy about. So this entire side, it looks like it's pretty much done. And it looks like this car doesn't have any work, but it does need that portion done as well. And we still have to order a couple more parts. We still need weather guards because it is going to be raining and we don't want our whole engine bay in mud like it is now. But at this point, um, what do you think? Should we put in the weather guard? I don't know. Uh, we should just leave it off so just in case we need to take it off again we'll just go. yeah okay so we'll leave that off but at least all the screws that went in there put it in the the wheel well you know so at least we know where the screws are at um and other than that other than that i just need to put the side skirt back on i took off all these screws and I also took off the m4 door seals so i'm just gonna put that stuff back so we are good to go All right, guys, so it is getting super dark outside, so we're gonna have to call it a day, but I'm pretty, we pretty much did everything we wanted to do. So we got the new fender on here, we fixed the gap, literally the gaps are perfect here, the gaps on the door is perfect, so all that is perfect. We uh, pretty much assembled most of the front end, we took off the hood, so other than all this stuff, we're pretty much gonna be getting the rest of the whole front clip in in the next video, doing oil change, probably even take it down the road. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure you smash that like button. But don't forget guys, cop some merch to support your boy and be shouted out in the next video. But when Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.